Very good evening. Welcome to our evening prayer on this Monday, the 21st of November 2022. Today, the Church in Wales celebrates the Feast of Paulinus. Paulinus, or Pylin, was the tutor of St. David. He is connected with the area around Llandovery in North Carmarthenshire and with, with Llangors, east of Brecon, where he may have spent some time as a hermit. It's possible that the monastic school at which he taught David was at Llanvesant. Hrigabar, David's biographer, says that Paulinus had been a pupil of St. Germanus, and he describes how David cured his teacher of blindness. Paulinus was also said to be the aged bishop who addressed the synod of Llandewi Brevi to send for David to address them. The ancient stone from the Cairo parish describing Paulinus as a guardian of the faith, always a lover of his homeness, most conscientious observer of all that is right, is now generally thought to refer to a godly layman of the same name. It does, however, reflect the ethos of the society of which Paulinus was a part. So we come to our evening prayer. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. Now as darkness is falling, wash away our transgressions, cleanse us by your refining fire, and make us temples of your Holy Spirit. By the light of Christ, dispel the darkness of our hearts, and make us ready to enter your kingdom, where songs of praise forever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And our hymn for this evening is the King of Love. The King of Love, my Shepherd, is whose goodness faileth never. I nothing lack if I am His, and He is mine forever. Where streams of living water flow, my ransom so he leadeth, and where the verdant pastures grow with food celestial feedeth. Perverse and foolish, oft I strayed, but yet in love he sought me, and on his shoulder gently laid, and home rejoicing brought me. In death's dark pale I fear no ill with thee, dear Lord beside me, Thy rod and staff, my comfort still, thy cross before to guide Thou spreadst a table in my sight, thy unction grace bestoweth, and a what transport of delight from thy pure chalice flow. And so through all the length of days, my goodness faileth never. Good Shepherd, may I sing thy praise within thy house forever. But this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 18. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, you that lead Joseph like a flock, shine forth, you that are enthroned upon the cherubim, before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Stir up your mighty salvation and come mighty strength and come to our salvation. Turn us again, O God, show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry at your people's prayer? You feed them with the bread of tears, you give them abundance of tears to drink. You have made us the derision of our neighbours and our enemies laugh us to scorn. 
Turn us again, O God of hosts, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt, you drove out the nations and planted it, you made room around it, and when it had taken root, it filled the land. The hills were covered with its shadows and the cedars of God by its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea and its tendrils to the river. Why then have you broken down its wall, so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar out of the wood tears it off, and all the insects of the field devour it. Turn again, O God of hosts, look down from heaven and behold. Cherish this vine which your right hand has planted, and the branch that you made so strong for yourself. Let those who burnt it with fire, who cut it down, perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let your hand be upon the man at your right hand, the son of man you made so strong for yourself. So will we not go back from you? Give us life, and we shall call upon your name. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Psalm 80. Sing merrily to God our strength, shout for joy to the God of Jacob, take up the song and sound the timbrel, the tune for lyre with the harp, blow the trumpet at the new moon, it is at full moon upon our solemn feast day. For this is a statute for Israel, a law of the God of Jacob, the charge he laid on the people of Joseph when they came out of the land of Egypt. I heard a voice I did not know that said, I ease their shoulder from the burden, their hands were set free from bearing the load. You called upon me in trouble and I delivered you, I answered you from the secret place of thunder and pew proved you at the waters of Meribah. Here are my people and I will admonish you, O Israel, if you would but listen to me, there shall be no strange God among you, you shall not worship a foreign God. I am the Lord your God who brought you up from the land of Egypt. Open your mouth wide and I will fill it. But my people would not hear my voice and Israel would not obey me. So I sent them away in the stubbornness of their hearts and set them walk after their own counsels. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. Then I should soon put down their enemies and turn my hand against their adversaries. Those who hate the Lord would be humbled before him, and their punishment would last for ever. But Israel, would I feed with, the, feed with the finest wheat, and with honey from the rock, would I satisfy them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Reading from Isaiah chapter 14, beginning at verse 3. When the Lord has given you rest from your pain and turmoil and the hard service with which you were made to serve, you will take up this taunt against the king of Babylon. How the oppressor has ceased, how his insolence has ceased. The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked, the scepter of rulers, that struck down the people in wrath with unceasing blows, that ruled the nations in anger with unrelenting persecution. The whole earth is at rest and quietness. They break forth into singing. The cypresses exult over you, the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since you were laid low, no one comes to cut us down. Sheol beneath is stirred up to meet you when you come. It rouses the shades to greet you, all who were leaders of the earth. It raises from the thrones all who were kings of the nations. All of them will speak and say to you, You too have become as weak as we are. You have become like us. Your pomp, pomp is brought down to shale, and the sound of your harps, maggots are the bed beneath you, and worms are your covering. How you are fallen from heaven, O day star, sun of dawn, how you are cut down to the ground, all you who laid the nations low. I said, you said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven, I will raise my throne above the stars of God, I will sit on the mount of assembly, on the heights of Zaphon, I will ascend to the top of the clouds, I will make myself like the Most High. But you are brought down to shale, to the depths of the pit, those who see you will stare at you and ponder over you. Is this the man who made the earth tremble, who shook the nations, who made the world like a desert and overthrew its cities? Who would not let his prisoners go home? All the kings of the nations lie in glory, each in his own tomb, but you are cast out away from your grave like loathsome carrion, clothed with the dead, 
those pierced by the sword who go down to the stones of the pit like a corpse trampled underfoot. You will not be joined with them in burial because you have destroyed your land, you have killed your people. May the descendants of evildoers never more be named. Here ends the first reading and the canticle, the Song of God's Assembled. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. We have come before God's holy mountain to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. We have come before countless angels making festival before the assembly of the firstborn citizens of heaven. We have come before God who is judge of all before the spirits of the just made perfect. We have come before Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. We are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, so let us give thanks and offer to God acceptable worship, full of reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in life. And a reading from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 9. While Jesus was saying these things, suddenly a leader of the synagogue came in and knelt before him, saying, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her and she will live. And Jesus got up and followed him with his disciples. Then suddenly a woman who had been suffering from hemorrhages for twelve years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his cloak, for she said to herself, If only I can touch his cloak, I will be made well. Jesus turned, and seeing her, he said, Take heart, daughter, your faith has made you well. And instantly the, daughter, the woman was made well. When Jesus came to the leader's house and saw the flute players and the crowd making a commotion, he said, Go away, for the girl is not dead but sleeping. And they laughed at him. But when the crowd had been put outside, he went in and took her by the hand, and the girl got up, and the report of this spread throughout the district. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, crying loudly, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done to you. And their eyes were opened. Then Jesus had sternly ordered them, See that no one knows of this, but they went away and spread the news about him throughout the district. After they had gone away, a demoniac who was mute was brought to him, and when the demon had been cast out, the one who had been mute spoke, and the crowds were amazed, and they said, Never has anything been done, been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, By the rule of demons, he casts out the demons. Here ends the second reading and our response to him. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory, for I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand and afterwards receive me with glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory and the Magnificent. The righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. So we come to our prayers of intercession. Let us pray. So we pray for the church throughout the world. We pray especially today for the Diocese of Niger West in Nigeria and for its Bishop Johnson N. Ekwe. 
We pray in this Diocese of St. Asaph for the Karenian Mission area and for St. Tadejo Tech, in Gareth Bethel, praying for the courage and discernment to face the prospect of church closure in that place. We pray as always for the life of our diocese, praying for Bishop Gregory today and for the interview panels um, as he interview as the interviews begin, sorry, for the next Archdeacon of Wrexham. We pray for the Archdeaconry at this time as well. We continue to pray for those who are in particular need of our prayers, especially for those who are caught up in the conflict in Ukraine, for those who are affected by violence and bloodshed throughout the world. We continue to pray for those who are sick, especially for Louise, Gordon, Joshua, Roy, Barbara, Derek, Jess, David and Sean. And we remember the faithful departed among them, Sharon and Maureen. Surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us make our prayer in the power of the Spirit, looking to Jesus, the pioneer of our faith. That with the noble fellowship of the prophets, we may discern the signs of your kingdom in our midst. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That with the glorious company of the apostles, we may proclaim your gospel throughout the world. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That with the white-robed army of martyrs, we may be ready to suffer for the truth's sake. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That with all who are anointed by your spirit, we may bring good news to the poor and freedom to the oppressed. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That with the saints in light, we may bind up the brokenhearted and comfort all who mourn. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That within the whole company of Christ's pilgrim people, we may come to the inheritance of the saints in glory. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Communion with all the saints, let us commend the world to the mercy and protection of God. Almighty and ever-living God, who called Paulinus to proclaim the gospel to this nation, give us, your servants, such faith and power of love that as we rejoice in his triumph, we may profit by his example. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory, now and for ever. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much again for joining me on this Monday evening and I wish you a very peaceful evening indeed.